We've got a collision damaged uh, Carryall 1 on the airlift tonight, so we're just going to kind of make a quick video and show you guys how we straighten out these frames. You can see this one is, so uh, we'll get the front end off here in a moment, we'll show you, but this one's real bad, so um, get a little bit of insight into how we fix these things. With the front end removed, you can see uh, how damaged this car really is. Give you an undershot here. And uh, these are the tools we use for straightening the frames on all club car sort of DS carry all type chassis. So we'll get the uh, jigs on and get some tools on here and show you how we restore this. Now, there's always cracks after uh, an impact like this. And uh, these frames are a little too thick for us to TIG. So we'll go over to the aluminum MIG and uh, show you how we deal with, uh, deal with that stuff as well. Looks like there's some cracking in there, but I'm sure we'll find more as we go. Okay, so we've bolted these support beams down the frame, or down the, I guess you'd call it the rub rail in this case. And uh, what we're gonna do in the next shot, these are clamped in there. In the next shot, we're gonna uh, attach some of the tools that we use to first and foremost, pull this frame back over. And then we'll uh, take you through some of the minor adjustments after we've got it, uh, you know, pulled back into position within, you know, kind of an eighth of an inch. So we've installed the crossbar, just uh, lends a little more support. And we've got this uh, sort of apparatus set up. Now there's already a little crack forming in there, but as I say, you know you're going to get cracks when you're straightening these aluminum frames. But... Uh, this will be our first pull on this section. Just another view of what it looks like uh, from the front. So in some cases, the frame is swung so far over, we don't have room to grab it with this particular tool. So we just put a scissor jack in there and just push this frame member over just to get us uh, closer. So that's what we're doing here. Just trying to get that big kind of ripple out of the frame and then we can, you know, once again, pull that whole section back over. So using some of the other tooling, we got the, uh, the frame mostly straight near that uh, parallel tube. So uh, on this, in this case here, we're just using this little tool to take that uh, little sort of ripple out of the frame so we can use the OEM uh, tool that we use for, uh, it's a cutting guide and a drill guide for putting in the OEM lift kit. Now what we do is we harvest, when we part out cars, we harvest these perfectly good front ends. So before we scrap the frames, we always save these. So if you've got a, con a collision damaged car, just get your frame kind of as straight as you can. So the rails go back through the chassis, pretty good. And then you're cutting this whole section off right about here. And uh, then you can use the uh, front end components that we harvest if you so choose to save the car and just put a lift kit in it. So as we mentioned before, there's, there's gonna be some welding. We removed this just to help us, uh, you know, get it straight. But, uh, you know, don't scrap your uh, club car just because you've had some uh, collision damage. Just uh, call us if you need any, any of these parts. And uh, as I say, we've got plenty of these front end sections. So, um, yeah, let it, uh, let it live again. So we got the frame rails, the front frame rails, the I-beam portions, basically perfectly straight back into the chassis there on both sides. And then uh, what we went ahead and did was uh, 
cut off that mangled section and use the factory drill and cutting guide to get these holes drilled in the existing frame as well as the piece of the front end that we salvage. So now what we're going to do is uh, now that those two parts are prepared we're going to remove the frame straightening jig and go ahead and start installing the OEM lift kit. Now another thing we're going to do actually in the next shot before we start that we're just going to run over to the MIG and correct some cracking that we had here. There's one there, uh, one in here, and uh, I think we saw something in behind the jig. But we'll um, just quickly take the, the chassis over there and, and get that sorted out before we go ahead and uh, finish the, or begin the lift kit uh, installation. Okay, so we've pushed the car over to the fab bay and we've got, uh, uh, let's see if our camera will focus here. We've got a crack in there. Another one up in this area, and then on both sides we've got some cracking right in this area here. So um, it's not pretty. The TIG is actually a, a kind of a nice way to weld, but on this thicker stuff, as I say, our TIG's not quite powerful enough, so we'll use the MIG, but it certainly gets the job done. We're also going to go over this area too. There's a little crack in there. So we've got the uh, welding uh, completed here. Now, admittedly, the MIG welder in my possession is a little bit of a uh, a blunt tool. Um, we've got a fantastic welder here, Ian. He's uh, also one of our top salesmen, but he's in Mexico, so I have to handle this stuff myself. So, I mean, it's still a pretty good job, but um, I always just kind of make a couple of cover passes just to make sure everything is super strong, but um, obviously in the hands of a professional, this stuff is, is much neater. But um, so we're going to move on to the next step now that we've got that resolved and start building up the front end with the uh, OEM lift kit and S-plates. So we've moved the car back into position and installed the salvage front frame component. You can see that the frame, I don't know if you can catch this on the camera, but you know, you couldn't find a defect with the, as far as the, you know, the, the frame's position. It was really smack. We've got it basically bang on the money now. And, and, you know, the whole point of this is it's salvaging a car. If you've got a perfectly good car that was collision damaged and you don't want to put some new feet underneath it, uh, this is a great way to do it. Just straighten out the frame and throw in a lift kit because oftentimes this front frame component is, you know, damaged beyond repair. The aluminum stretches and there's nothing you can do. But, you know, just by installing the lift kit and then getting a donor car, we always have tons of them, you can install this and... Uh, save your car. So now some people might be looking at this S-plate kit and thinking well why would you go ahead and do all that when you can buy a drop spindle? The drop spindle kits create a lot of bump steer so we figure the best way to do it is just to use the OEM style and the three inch lift. It lowers this front frame component, just moves all your steering components down and then we use an, uh, an intermediate shaft that's a little bit longer. It comes in the kit. You've got the OEM driving feel you know and all the safety associated with that. Um, you know, without, uh, sure there's a little more work and more, a little more cost involved, but it's just the best way to do it. Now, if we go beyond this, say to a six inch lift, we're going to use an A-arm style lift. That is uh, the superlative way to go there. So we're just going to uh, continue on with the uh, front end assembly. Okay, we've got the front end components installed and um, that extended intermediate shaft that we mentioned in the previous shot. So uh, aside from doing a final uh, alignment, when it's back on its feet, uh, we're complete up here. We're just going to move around to the back now. Okay, so we've begun to install the uh, multi-leaf uh, springs that come in the AM10756 uh, lift kit. That's an AM10756 lift kit. You can buy it from us at Porcelato Engineering. Just uh, call or email for current pricing. There is one change though that we make on a carryall. Now officially the AM10756 isn't designed to go into a carryall, but uh, there's one small change. In a carryall type product they use a flat rear shackle. These little aluminum guys are what we pulled out of the car. They connect the frame to the rear of the leaf spring. Now the AM10756 has a shackle with this little sort of uh, bend in it and that matches the DS style golf car. So what we've done is um, we just copy it. We take the original design, which is just a one and a quarter by quarter inch thick flat bar um, in aluminum. We just buy that in mild steel and 
just make a flat shackle like you see here. So it's the identical kind of config that comes in the kit as far as center to center for the DS car, but we just make it flat and that's all you need to put an AM10756 lift kit in a carry-all product. So we're just going to uh, continue with the install here. Um, we haven't got around to it yet, but there will be a little extender for the rear shocks because they're going to have to come down and uh, meet the, uh, the, the mount here. So that's uh, something we'll get to in a little bit. Now one thing uh, you will need to install the uh, AM10756 lift kit is this factory drill and cut guide. It's part number 10757. Now we can sell you these as well, but to be honest with you, if you don't buy this tool for the install, um, well, it, it, the install won't work out. Let's just put it that way. This is a fairly precise uh, little piece. Now, if you intend on doing these things, you know, more than once, um, we can, uh, of course, we can sell you one, but if it's just sort of like a, you know, a home uh, gamer kind of situation, we can rent you one of these as well. So you buy the lift kit from us, we charge you the full price for the tool, but we, you know, we refund that uh, when you send it back to us. So just a, a heads up on that one. So we've got the carry-all back on its feet. Um, we'll finish the, the final uh, alignment once we've, you know, kind of driven it around and let everything settle in. You can see that's a great ride height for a carry-all. It kind of looks like the uh, XRTs of years gone by. You know, we're going to send it back over to sales and they'll put a decent tire on it that, and wheel combination that matches it. Just give you a final shot of the extended shackle that we mentioned. But, um, you know, once again, this is a great way to save a heavily collision damaged car and uh, kind of improve the, the overall stance of it at the same time. So, and, uh, you know, just to mention again that we do sell all these parts in the videos, anything that you might need, and we have an OEM club car part or any, you know, transportation utility vehicle, all make all model stuff, we're uh, happy to help out. So thanks again for watching our video. Bye for now.